The cosmos. Where did it all begin? Most experts agree that it all began with the big band theory. Gabriel played the trumpet. The Lord was on lead vocals. And the devil wanted to play the drums. So they told him to beat it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and at the center of it all, God placed the earth. What better place to begin our discussion on a very hot topic? You say you want an evolution? Well, you know, we'd all love to see the plans. Our story begins long ago in the primordial slime of the earth. This was prime time slime and life was evolving. This is Charlie. He was just going with the flow until one day he saw the light. And he became Christian Fish. Yes, he was no longer a Pisces working for scale. He was born again by the Spirit of God and he knew what he needed to do. It was time to go against the flow. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hi, I'd like to tell you about Jesus. Have you heard about Jesus? Evangelism was a lot of hard work until he was baptized in the Holy Spirit and everything changed. But, even with the Holy Spirit, Christianity is not without trials. Charlie experienced temptation. Hi, can I lure you into some hanky-panky? Why are you dressed like a hooker? He also experienced times of dryness. Hey! But, throughout the years, Charlie followed God. And one day it was time once again to evolve to the next level. Legs? I don't think so. The use of Darwinian evolution as a metaphor for the Christian experience is hazardous to your spiritual health and is not recommended for personal consumption. Kids, don't try this at home. For better metaphors representing the Christian experience, try the parables of Jesus, the works of C.S. Lewis, Spider-Man comics, practically anything is more effective and less confusing as a vehicle for explaining Christianity than Darwinian evolution.